<laughs> okay, what's going on right now is I'm building up a charge. I haven't run in the conventional method. High voltage to both discs. I have my Tesla coil connected to my center plate. I just want to show you this. I'm going to run this paper. So it's on here like this. Get it charged up. You can see it stuck right down to this. Now there's four. Just like that. See if we can't tear the paper down just a bit. See if we can't get a better look at it. Started to spark over now. Hold on, I gotta turn this thing down just a bit. Not right there, okay. And there it is. As soon as it's high enough to arc over, we're getting that static. You see, this time it's clinging to there. And I mean, it's not very much, but it's still doing it. And in between the two, it stays. It's now statically clung to it. So we're building a static voltage in here. And we knew that from the static meter, but it's nice to see it in a different way. And the two, you can see the two fields have to be in line with each other to get this. And there goes my computer for some reason. But I'm sparking over heavily now. And when they're not in contact, it just falls right off. As soon as they are in contact, and they're going to like appear again, you hear it. Okay, let's turn down on high voltage a little bit. Get that stop sparking. Connect together. We're getting that static. As soon as it's off of there, it falls right off. Got it? As soon as it falls off. Huh. That's kind of neat to see. As soon as we get that spark over there, Start to set off my computer. Let's see if we can't get it up a bit higher. You can see voltage is going off. You can't hear my computer at all, right? Oh, there it went. Let's see if we can make that computer go off a couple times. Oh, 
doesn't like that high voltage right now. Interesting. Put it right on the edge right there. And you can see our light is lighting up. We're definitely getting feel. Definitely getting feel out of it. Interesting. You know, it's also slowing down that motor and I can't tell if it's just the paper or if it's something else. Let me see if I just... Look at that, it goes right up to it. Watch. There's not a whole lot of air in there, guys. And it lights directly up. There's no problem with it. The field's actually good around the whole thing. It's pulling a field in there, that's for sure. I blew out both LEDs, guys. Sorry, I ran it too high. I gotta replace them now. But you can still see the field meter picking it up. The little red one. Definitely still some alive in there. It's blinking like crazy now, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> so, I had a question earlier, can you touch it? As soon as I do, you see that light bulb went out? I just took all the energy from it. I just absorbed it into my body. Now it's going to have to recharge the field. You see right here? I got nothing. There's the field right there. But it's not lighting up this one right here. See if we can't get it. Not much of a signal there. And there it goes. You see that thing just light up? Okay, hold on. Let me take the camera back a little bit. Watch. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to touch it. I just took the field. Now watch. As soon as I put it on there, that light bulb starts to light up. And then it stays lit over there. But now, now we'll touch it. I just took it away. You wonder why Alexi can lay on this thing? You see me touching it? It's getting a little, getting a little hot. But there we go. I just turned it back on. So the lights on. We know we're working. Okay. Crazy old man is going to touch it again. Nothing. Put the paper on there. Turns on right away. So, it's stinging in there with the static, right? So you go, okay, is it just wind? So, let's just turn off our high voltage over here. Not sticking now.
How much wind is actually in there? It's not sticking down at all. You say, well, it could have been wind holding it on there. No, it's just not. Under there a bit. All right, well, let's turn this thing back up. goes right back to clinging on there. Such an interesting thing how this is working. Huh. Just static. Really all it is. Huh. Turn that light on and off now. Watch. It's building up a good field now. I can see it. Because it's responding right away with that light. So let's see. Oh yeah. You can see the meter now. You see how much higher it is? We moved up what? Like quarter inch? And we're further away. Again, sorry Charlie, I gotta replace those lights. It, uh, I blew them out right away. I ran it in the other configuration and it blew it. But you can see we're, we're holding a steady field all the way out here. Sorry, all the way out here. As we put it in, you can see it move over. Now again, there's no batteries in this thing. It just runs off of the static that's coming off of this thing here. So we actually have a really good field going on right now. So that's way interesting. Now if I touch those plates that are rotating, I'm going to get shocked. I know it. There's no getting around that. So let's see what else we got here. Take off our paper. Yeah, it likes that dryer sheet. Oh, it's setting everything off. It really likes that dryer sheet. There, look at that. Now it's it's clinging. Ha! Oh man, we got a good static feel. Okay, let's test it while it's clinging. And we're taking away from it a little bit. Look at that. Because it's using the static electricity it's building, it's taken away from it. So interesting. Alright, let's see if we can connect them together again, see if we can set off my computer one more time. Look at it. Sucks right up to it. And it's throwing the field now. You hear it on my computer, it means it's going a bigger distance here. It's going more than you think it is. So cool. And there's the specter there. Oh, there it goes. It's going to fall off. Such an interesting experiment. I know, it just seems like some old man played with some paper. I'm telling you guys, this thing is cool. I definitely need to replace the LEDs on this because I think right now I would have the right feel. Wow, definitely in there. That's much higher now, look at that. Maybe that thing is not dead. It's trying to go off, it can't. Hmm. 
You hear that spark going off? I see a needle go down. Anytime that spark goes off. Okay, let's do one more reading on this. Let me find my static tester. Man, that's extremely low right there. That says plus one two, plus one something. Building a positive charge on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. We got a static charge on the bottom for sure. It's in positive. This whole thing is positively charged right now. <laughs> no, that's not a negative number. That's all positive. There we go. We got a bit of a negative right there on that top disc. <laughs> so interesting. Well, we definitely have a static charge going. And I think the, the, the negative on the top, I think I have the wires reversed on this. I'll change them and do the experiment again. But it kind of goes to show you there's more here than what you think there is. And can you touch it? Sure. When it's good, hooked up in this configuration, absolutely. You touch this thing all day. No problem. So let's do another one. Ooh, you saw that spark a little bit, huh? These are hot. Man, it's all hot. Huh. So what do you get when you get heat inside of a bubble? Yeah, you get lift. So interesting, huh? Make it a weird looking hot air balloon or something. I don't know, but uh, it's worth more testing. We'll see. Okay, here we go again. Got a good speed in there. I can see it vibrating. That's good. Okay, now it's still on our high voltage here. High voltage is not kicking over. Let's throw in our tester coil. Okay, I don't have any spark over, so that's good. Let's turn up the high voltage a little bit. Let's just see. There it goes. Alright, put down just right there where it's not sparking over. Now turn it down just a hair more. So you can see the light right there. It's lighting up. I'm not touching it. So we're good there. Let's go back and let's start our static test again. What I did just now, just so you know, I changed my uh, high voltage wires positive, negative, and just reversed them. Now I got positive on top and negative on bottom. Let's see if it changes the test. It doesn't want to stay there now. Let's turn this test coil up a little bit.
No. It still cleans up to the bottom. It's cleaning to the center plate pretty good. But it doesn't want to stay on the top now. Let's see. My computer's not going off either. See if we're building a field here. Are we got an actual higher number? Well, about, about, about the same. It's hard to cling to the bottom of this thing. That, those magnets really kind of mess up anything like this. It likes it underneath, but it likes to move it. Just aim in another direction. How about that? There it goes. Now we got the computer to go off. There it goes again. There we go. You know, what I'm really wondering is, when he does this, is he making it more resilient? Here's the field, it's still there. Our light's still on, let's go ahead and touch it. Didn't turn out the light, didn't turn it back on this time. At the end of our last test, we did. So let's, here we go, it came back on as soon as I put that in there. No computer going off yet, let's push it in some more. See if we can't get that thing to go off. No, yeah, no computer going off. There it goes. All right. Oh, well, I, I shouldn't do that, probably blow up my computer. But you can see, and let's see if it got a little more resilient at all. Touch it, it goes off. Nope, not back on yet. Ooh, that's hot. It got really hot. So over here, it's kind of cold, you know. If you can see my fingers running along this, guys. Ooh, that was hot on that edge. It's hot on that edge. Wow. You know what? Oh, I have something to show that. There is no way that bolt is colder than this plate. Well, let's do something stupid and scientifically test it. Whoa, I just got the thing for, wow! All right, I just got the spinning disc hit me. Yeah, that was a fun one. Yeah, felt like somebody shocking me down the hallway. All right, let's see. And our light came back on, and our computer's going off. Oh yeah, we got some static building up now. Our field's a little less. Interesting. All right, well let's put this thing back on it. I can't believe that. <laughs> Touching things, high voltage, oh, having some fun. Now, you know why Alexi can touch it in this configuration if it's working this way? I'll just make this real simple. You see that? I got two flybacks connected in there. I'm doubling my amount of volts versus amps in this thing. And what you're actually seeing here 
is that I'm trying to put more static in it than what it's probably getting originally. So he could probably touch this thing all day. If that voltage is low enough on those discs, guys, he can touch this thing all day. All day. As long as he's getting that effect out of it. Because you can, again, right here, touch it, no problem. Okay? As soon as you get more static in there, light comes on, computer goes off, we're throwing the EMI now. I'm going to blow up a perfectly good computer doing that. I mean, look. Do do do, old man touching it. It's hot. Why is it so hot? Let's touch that in. That end's a lot cooler. How about those? Those are hot. This thing is transferring some heat. Turn this up a little bit. Ooh. Huh. Kind of odd. Watch this. So, here's the light. Touch it. Is my body interfering with it? Now, it's less bright over there. More bright where my finger is. Now it's brighter over there. Brighter my finger. Jared was telling me about this. It interferes with it. Well, I guess when you're dealing with all this static charge, everything interferes with it. So interesting. <laughs> it's like automatic. All right, let's see if we can do it just, just on cue. There it is. Ha! Oh man, always fun dealing with this stuff. So it's making a field. Let's get no question about that. We we got fields when we hook it up conventionally. It's not as big as the field I got before, and this is very much less destructive than my other one. Until you do stupid things like me, but it's definitely working better and there's a lot of heat I just don't understand that I mean I guess I understand you got high voltage there's heat get it okay but uh, well I, it took to my testicle so now it makes a little more sense my testicle burns me am I getting burned on my fingers well let's see just slightly you could just start to see it right there yeah I got a little bit of burnt so I guess you don't touch it too long, you're okay, but man, it's going to burn you. So it's losing energy in the heat, though. But the heat may be causing something else going on. So I don't know. But I'll tell you what, man. Let's see if we can do this light thing now. Touch the side, and those are hot, too. Now, See if I can get it just a bit closer, we're going to... No? You ever turn it back on? Come on! No? Nope. So turn back on with that. Ha! Just play with the light all day. Oh man, playing with the light bulb. It took what? A second? To reach that computer? That EMI? Oh, Alright. Well, it's just more testing. 
I'll just keep going. Maybe we'll figure something out. Just wanted to let everybody know that we have a Facebook group. We can get together, talk about the gravity flyer. You can share your pics of your gravity flyer, uh, your comments, what you're doing, what's going on. As long as you're kind to each other, everything goes. And as long as it ties into the gravity flyer in some way, please put it on there, share. You know what I mean? Talk with everybody in the group. Everybody's real helpful. There's some really smart people on there, guys. And they really know what they're doing. So, anyway, hope it helped you guys out and it's an extra resource. Thank you. Bye. I almost forgot. The link will be in the description, guys.